Now we want to take a closer look at the pandemic and the toll that it has taken on so many businesses, including the hotel industry. While most have been open, most rooms have been empty. As Chief Capital reporter Susan Raff found out, business is slowly picking back up. Hotel lobbies are quiet these days. The courtyard in New Haven is usually pretty full. But during COVID, they've had as few as five rooms occupied, and the dining room has been closed. We're starting slowly, but it's not enough to bring back uh, the staff that we were obviously looking to, to rejoin us as our work families. At the beginning, only essential workers were staying here, mainly health care workers, firefighters, and correction officers who didn't want to infect their families. Other guests are now trickling in, but sparse at best. This is one of the busiest times of the year. There are graduations, concerts, and all types of events which are not happening. And while hotels say they are seeing more rooms being filled up, it is definitely not enough. I've been traveling uh, more or less throughout the whole pandemic, um, staying in hotels. Here in Connecticut, we've needed letters uh, saying we're an essential worker to um, come in and stay in, in any hotel. Liam McNamara is traveling for work. But because there are so few guests, only 10 of the 70 hotel staff are still working. We need to have people confident to travel again. And people need to feel safe, whether it's on an airplane, trains, driving. Ginny Kozlowski from the Connecticut Lodging Association says cities like New Haven depend on international travel, which is way down. Who travels is important. This Dr. week, Mass, Governor Lamont says he's urging you. those traveling in and out of Connecticut from states with high infection rates to quarantine for 14 days. We certainly don't want to turn anyone away. It's uh, every room counts for every one of us right now. At the same time, nobody wants to put anyone else at risk. Hotels are hoping for the honor system and to protect everyone. They're using masks and doing lots of cleaning. Now they just need you. In New Haven, Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.